Today, we're tying a stonefly nymph that's great for spraying steelhead. This is a workhorse fly that you can tie a pile of so you can be ready for your next outing. Hey everyone, Matt here with the Northern Angler in Traverse City, Michigan. You can find all the materials you'll need for this fly and lots more at thenorthernangler.com. Lots of Midwest rivers like the ones we fish have healthy stonefly populations that really start to get active in the spring months as they prepare to migrate and emerge on snowy riverbanks. Once you've got your hook securely in the vise, start your thread right around the midpoint. We're going to take nice, tight, touching wraps. We're going to work right on back to the barb. Trim your excess. Here we're going to add a tiny, and I mean tiny amount of dubbing. This is just Antron dubbing, really tight dubbing noodle here. And what we're doing is we're creating a little teeny ball that'll help us splay out those goose biots. And you can see it's almost imperceptible. It's just this little detail that's going to make a huge difference and make tying these guys in so much friendlier. Grab your goose biots. You're going to want to. Sometimes they're, it's a little tough to just trim two off. Reach in, trim close. And these will have a curvature, which you can see. So we need to pull one and align it with the second. I just use my thumb and index fingers here, working these slowly, layering them. And I want them to be splayed out just like that. Try and align the tips if you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a stonefly. And we're going to measure around a half a shank length, maybe a little bit longer. Transfer your measurement. I'm gonna use the shank itself to actually split these. And you'll see I come in at about a 45 degree angle, split them, and then I use my thumb and index finger here to pinch really tight. I'm gonna take a loose wrap, because I don't want them to spin. Two loose wraps, and then I'm gonna add some tension. And you're gonna get a nicely splayed out tail that looks like that. Take wraps forward. We're going to cover up the rest of these biots. We're just going to incorporate them into our taper, our very slight taper. But I also find if you trim these right away, they tend to slide. They tend to move about. So you really want to secure the whole thing if you can. For the body, we're going to use some of this vinyl D-rib. This is a very friendly product to use. If you haven't seen it before, there's one side is half round. The other is flat. So we're going to wrap it with the flat side down. And that round side will give us some nice segmentation. Really easy. You just take touching wraps forward. I'm going to work my thread forward just a little bit. Not too much. I'm actually going to tie it on the near side of the shank. After I add a few wraps, pull on this. Tension it with your left hand so that there's no bunching and you can get really tight wraps, get it really tight up against the shank. The reason I keep it on the near side is I'm giving this stonefly a little bit wider body, just like the natural. I'll work my thread forward. Give it two half hitches here to secure it. And I'm just going to use the rotary function here to start advancing this. No rush here. Just take nice touching wraps. Work to the thread. That should be good. Really try not to work too far forward because this has a fairly large thorax on this fly. And if you work too far forward, it's kind of a pain to wrap on top of this stuff. You can do it. It's just not my preference. Come in tight, trim that off. Make sure it's really nice and secure. For the wing case, we're gonna use the very classic turkey tail feather. This is what I learned with tying hair's ears years ago, and I still think the natural modeling looks fantastic. In terms of how much to trim, 
we want to measure the gap length, something close to that. That is the hook point up to the shank. You can trim a little bit more than that. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm just going to trim right up against the stem. Try and pay attention. The tips we want to face forward. These are much softer than the base. So they're easily compressed. We want the pieces of feather that are not so easily compressed facing towards the back. That's what we want to fold over the thorax. Trim that excess. That's all good to go. The main part of the thorax is going to be the chenille. And I want to strip some of these fibers off and expose the core. Gives me a really nice, easy piece of material to tie down. It doesn't create too much bulk. Once you've got that secured, work your thread forward. Try not to go all the way to the eye. You need to save yourself some room to tie this stuff off. Tight wraps, it's going to be, it's going to feel like you're using a lot of material. That's okay. I usually get about three wraps and then I tie this off. Three wraps on top and I'm preening back, trying to expose the hook shank with my thumb and index finger. Reach in, trim that off. Now you can use a brush here, you know, something like this to kind of pick all this material out. First thing I'm going to do is actually give it a haircut. Try not to trim your wing case, but I want to flatten the top off. Helps show off the wing case and makes room for the legs we're going to tie in. Just going to grab a soft hackle fen heather. I'm going to strip all the fluff off the bottom so you're left with Something that looks like this. And I just want to create this little V. These are going to be our legs. I'm going to set this on top. And I'm going to press down with my index finger. Loose wraps. Three of them. We're going to bring that to the eye. From there, I'm actually going to pull on this stem Shorten these legs up. They do not need to be very long. But that V will give you a very clean split to each side. I'm going to grab my turkey feather, flatten it out as best I can, pull that forward, tie it off. These all kind of finish at the same time here. Reach in with your scissors, grab that whip finish, you can do one or two depending on if you're using any adhesive or anything like that. You're going to get this really buggy looking stonefly out of this. I, to finish off the wing case. I generally use a little bit of UV epoxy just to create a nice bubble and make for a really nice durable fly. Hit it with the light. Add it to your box and get fishing. Well, I hope you get a chance to tie a few of these up and go chase some spring steelhead. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let us know if you have questions in the comment section below. Think about subscribing if you'd like to see more content from us, and hopefully we'll see you soon in the shop or out on the water.